God is saying, I want you to learn to yield. I want you to learn to yield, to lean upon me. Because I am supposed to be the one leading you. I am the one. I'm your comforter, but I'm your counselor. I lead you in paths of righteousness for my name's sake, saith the Lord. Learn to lean. Learn to trust. Learn to hunger. Learn to desire. Learn to be so desperate for me, saith the Lord. And you can ask him to help you with that. You can ask him to help you with that. Because we have too much. We have too much. We have too much here. And that too much gets in the way of your love for God. We have too much. How many of you gone, have gone through some really difficult situations and you can tell that you changed after that situation? Raise your hand. I want to see. Like you have been through something that's really heart-wrenching and something really difficult. And you knew when you came out of that, you were not the same as when you first came in. There's such a hunger and a desperation. It changed you forever. And you may look the same externally, but internally everything changed. And now you look at things differently. Now you have compassion. Now you have this, we have wisdom. Now you have this staying power. It's called faith. Because you've seen God move. You've seen him move. Well, I want to tell you something. A lot of you raised your hands for that. But I want to tell you something. There is more in this thing called intimacy with the Lord. The only way to get there is to allow God to strip you of anything else that's still there. You might say, but I've already allowed, I don't know what else there's there. I feel like I've done it. I feel like I've done that. Are you willing to say, Lord, strip me of anything that I'm unaware of? Because I believe, and I truly believe this, this life holds nothing for me. It's only Christ in me. It's only what I do for God's kingdom that's going to count and that will last. So it takes a dying and a surrender, a continual surrender and dying. And when you have really been there and someone's asking you to do that again, guess what that makes you feel like? Oh, Lord, your word is like honey. It's like honey to my lips. It's not an oh no, not again. If there's an oh no, not again in you, you know that there's still more work that needs to be done. If there's a oh gosh, I'm afraid, I don't want that. Now what, what, what is it going to be? God is saying, you're the perfect person. You're who I'm talking about. So today is a moment, it's a day. Today is a day where God is saying, I want to do so much more in your life, but you got to be willing. You got to be willing to go through the hard times and still trust me. And it's not just I trust God, but with everything, with abandoned faith, with this reckless kind of abandoned faith that says, I trust you, but I also, I, I have joy in the process because my eyes are on Jesus. My eyes are on Jesus. Right now, I'm going to have you pray. I just want you to pray. I want, you, I want you to pray for yourself. You're not praying for somebody else. You're praying for yourself. Father, right now, search my heart and let me know, Lord. Do what only you can do within me, Lord God. I surrender it all. Whatever it is, whatever it is that keeps me from fully walking in the fullness of God, I surrender it all. I don't want anything to keep me from your perfect love. We know the word of God says perfect love casts out all fear. And so it's fear that keeps you from from really saying yes to everything, holding back a little no of your heart, no. Total and complete right now. Spirit of the living God, I thank you as you go through this room and as you touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus, this could be the best day of your life. The best day of your life right now. Total turnaround. Nicole, the Spirit of God is upon you. The Spirit of God is upon you, Nicole. The Spirit of the living God right now, just start to move 
And Nicole, I'm going to have you step up here, please, and you can stand behind her. Say, Father, I thank you. Every layer being stripped off, every layer being stripped off, strip off, Lord, the layers. Let the layers be stripped. I'm going to have you stand right here. Let the layer, no, I'm going to have you just this way, because I believe God is doing more. I believe God is doing more. Right now, everything right now, you have gone through so much. You have learned to trust God in the midnight hour. And you have learned what I'm talking about in hearing his voice. Oh, you have. Because he's your husband and he's your maker. And only when he becomes your husband and only when you can truly say he's become my maker, my husband, my best friend, only when you can truly say that will you really understand what I'm talking about. And the Lord is saying that he's very pleased. Yes, he's very pleased. And you receive it all. Just take it all. He's very pleased with the walk and the soul surrender that he sees in you. Father, I thank you. Everything that she is in need of. Everything, Lord God. You've already promised her. We decree is hers. We decree right now everything that you have promised her, Lord God. We decree it is hers. We command right now the, the assignment of the enemy to be bound, to be broken off of her in the mighty name of Jesus. And there's more in this room that God is doing a same or similar thing. A same or similar thing. Charlene, come on up. See, when we are not ready to give it all to him, we are still operating in fear. And God says, I'm going to break that if you're willing. I'm going to break that if you're willing. Right now, in the name of Jesus, decree that every place of fear be broken off your life. I command right now everything that keeps you bound in the past, emotions of the past, every place where you were not loved, where you were hurt, abandoned, abused. I take authority over that right now in the name of Jesus, and I command those familiar spirits to leave you. Every place where it's caused your body to turn on itself and to be sick, to be diseased, that is not your lot in life. So I take authority and I command it to go right now. Let the mind come into divine alignment and be healed right now. Let the body come into divine alignment and be healed right now. Diabetes to go in Jesus' name. Uh, the eyes come into divine healing. Cataracts go right now. Every disease in this body go right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Who else has something, a disease, something that the, 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 the doctors have, pers have already diagnosed you with? And you know it's not of God. Yeah, you have something? Come on up. If there's a diagnosis in your life that you know is not of God, it's time to get rid of it. It is time to get rid of it. I'm going to have you stand right here. Anybody else? Yep, Nan, and we can bring a chair for Nan. Anybody else? You know that you've gone and through the doctors, they have diagnosed you with something. You know it's not of God because sickness is not of God and you know you won't tolerate it. You should never tolerate it. You should never tolerate it. Now, I don't know what some of yours are, but I want you right now to start. I want you to start renouncing it. You know what they are. Renounce. Renounce it out loud. Renounce it. What are you going to need to renounce? Renounce. What are you going to renounce? Yep. Specifically. Renounce it specifically. Trauma, go. Trauma go. Trauma leave. Trauma go right now. She's renouncing trauma. I command trauma to leave her body right now. Go! In the name of Jesus. Assignment of trauma leave her body right now. Father, as the assignment of trauma left her body, I thank you, Lord God, for touching her and healing her from head to toe, that you bring in the glory of God, the, the confirmation, Lord God, that she is healed and set free. I thank you for the love of God to abound, uh, healing every place, every crevice of her life. Renounce, just renounce whatever the Lord shows you you need to renounce right now. Yeah. Yes. Autoimmune, right now, re being renounced. 
fire of God to destroy that autoimmune right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the glory of God settle in and fill her. Hallelujah. More. Spirit of the living God. We had someone this morning when we were on Facebook Live that was healed. Come on over here. Of um, she, her eye, she had blurred vision. And she had it for a few weeks. Blurred vision. And the Lord healed her eyes. And she said she can see perfectly well. The two-second prayer. Somebody give God the glory. Hallelujah. It's the same God that did that that is touching you right now. The same God. Just let him. Just let him. Hallelujah. More, Lord. More, Lord. What do you need to renounce? Okay. All right, do that. I want you to renounce. I renounce that. Not in tongues, in English. I renounce. Yes. Yep. Yep, right now, the healing power of God is falling upon you right now. I take authority right now over that high cholesterol, that fatty tissue, and I command it to be broken off of you right now in Jesus' name. Wow, there's the, there it is. There's the glory, the power of God to heal you and set you free right now. Wow. Fire of God. More just stay because the spirit of the living God right now is moving. He is moving and stirring in this place. Oh, yes, God. We love you, Jesus. Yes, we love you. God's healing your emotions as well. He's telling me that he's healing your emotions right now. The spirit of the living God, thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. We just say yes. Wow. Yeah, he's healing her emotions right now. Who else is that? That's for somebody else. Your emotions. God is touching you in your emotions. Yeah, thank you, Father. Is that you in the middle row? Yeah, right there, the black shirt. God is touching. No, you're turning around. Yeah, can you stand up? Yes. Can you come on up? Because I know God wants to touch you. Wow. Because when you first walked in, I saw the Spirit of the Lord just hovering over you. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so that is true. Yeah. Well, Okay. And there's others like that in this room. So we're going to get to that in a moment. But I just want you to stay. I want you to just receive. Wow. Whoa. Glory to God. And I'm going to be right back right now. Just I let the spirit of the living God move. Uh, and Karen, what was just done, we decree it sealed in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. Come on up. Did you renounce what you need to renounce? Yes, yes, I did, I did, I did. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. So the spirit of the living God is upon you right now. And we decree that even as you renounce what you needed to renounce, fire of God destroys every assignment of sickness, every assignment of disease. I decree your mind right now. Mind, heart, body, soul, spirit to come into alignment, to be healed and to be restored in the name of Jesus. Yep, let it go. All of it, everything that's trying, it's, I see stuff coming out, leaving, 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 leaving out of her mind right now. Lies. I break the power of lies. Matter of fact, I break the power of the lie over every one of you. I break the power of the lie over every one of you right now. Break it. Break it. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it off of you in Jesus' name. And now, Lord, she stands and she represents children and people, right? Uh -huh. Okay. So I want you to renounce whatever you need to for your family. Many of you need to do the same thing for your family. Renounce. Just stand up and do it. Stand up. Yep. Take a step of faith. 
When you stand up, you're saying, that's me, and I'm going to take a step of faith. I'm going to renounce, and I'm not going to allow the enemy. With the blonde hair, with the blonde, yes. Could you come stand over here? Stand next to her. Because, see, I see the, the enemy is trying to rob some of you and has actually succeeded. And it comes in the form of your family. The enemy has tried to rob you. Wh what's your name? Okay, stand right here, Sherry. Because both of you right now, I believe there's something similar. So I want you to renounce things that have been in your life and that have been robbing you guys. Your family, yourself. You just do that. I renounce. Go ahead. And be specific. Pride, arrogance, rebellion, resistance, drugs, drug abuse. Pride. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft. New Age. False religions. Hating God. Hating God. Turning their back on God. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. A spirit of unforgiveness. Spirit of perfectionism. Yep. Spirit of perfectionism. In the name of Jesus, I take authority right now. I'm going to have you look at me. I command right now every foul spirit that is coming against you and your family to be broken now. In the name of Jesus, leave this family. Leave this family. Just lift your hands before the king. I thank you, Lord God, for shifting, uh, shifting right now. Let the shift happen in this bloodline, in the bloodline right now, right now. Your family too? Is that what you're praying for? No. Eyes. Blurred vision from cataracts in both eyes. I've had several many strokes. Okay. Blurred vision, imbalance, many strokes. It's affecting her eyes. So, Father, what you did this morning for that person online, and you gave her clarity in her vision, I command right now the blurred vision to go. I rebuke that assignment, and I command it to go. Cataracts be healed right now. Eyes be healed right now. And, Charlene, this is for you as well. Receive it. Thank you, Father. The fire of God destroy every demonic assignment right now in the name of Jesus every effect of the strokes they must go right now every negative assignment coming against you bringing symptoms of sickness and disease uh, I rebuke and cast out in Jesus' name uh, I decree your eyes will be healed right now I decree clarity over your sight clarity over your vision clarity over your vision clarity thank you Lord we're going to test you in a moment just stay right here, please, because God's not done. God's not done with you. God's not done. He wants to show you what true love is. He wants to show you because your healing is coming through the love of God. As you feel the love, if you let him, let him speak, let him break in, let him, let him. And that's what it takes. Oh, I'm going to let him. Oh, I'm going to let him love me. Oh, I'm going to let him touch me. Oh, I'm going to let him. So how easy it is. The enemy wants you to think about the negativities and why, why you don't deserve it. None of us deserve it. It's about his blood. Come on up. What have they said? What the doctors, what have they said? What have they said? Okay, you're going to have a checkup soon. So you don't know at this point in time. No, no, right now. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I stand right here. Okay. So we have faith in God in the name of Jesus. I thank you that the wrongs are being made right, correct right now, auto-correct right now in the name of Jesus. The wrongs are being made right. Lord, the things that were done Lord, that would have brought her to this place. I rebuke that assignment. I thank you, Lord. She's going to go and get checked. And I thank you for a good report. I speak forth over her, her blood right now. Wow. Cleanse the blood, Father. 
I decree the blood is being cleansed right now in and through her veins. Yep. Wow. So I'm seeing right now God is going through your, going through your blood and healing and restoring healthy red, healthy white blood cells. Yep. Healthy red, healthy white blood cells right now. Strengthening the very bone, the, the very marrow in your bones. Do you receive that? Amen. Amen. So, Lord, we thank you for a good report when she goes to get that report in Jesus' name. Oh, my goodness. To walk as the Spirit of God directs is the most beautiful thing you can do in your life. To let the Spirit of God flow in and through you is the most beautiful thing you can do. Uh, Michelle, come on up. Hallelujah. How's your foot? Needs more healing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, Lord, I thank you right now. We honor the spirit of the living God. And I decree over you right now God's fullness to heal. God's fullness right now, releasing everything that is not of him. We let it go. We let it go. Every entrapment, we let it go. Wow. Release. Be released off of her right now. Thank you, Father. Spirit of the living God, is there anything you need to renounce? Ask him. There's other people, too. You do it right where you're at because you, you'd be surprised how quickly. Yes, go ahead. I renounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unforgiveness, judgment, anger, jealousy. Yeah, strife. Are some of you guys, are some of you also renouncing these things? Because it's important, you guys. Because this is what the Lord is doing right now. He's bringing healing to the whole body. The whole body. Wow. So right now, I decree healing over your foot. The pain to go right now all pain to leave. I thank you for correcting this and healing this foot. Lord, I thank you for strengthening this foot right now. Be strengthened. Be strengthened. Be healed. Wow. Rise. 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 Yep. Yep. Something's shifting. Rise. Rise. Right from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. I thank you for doing what only you can do. Glory to God. Glory to God. More. 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 Yes, Father. Yes. Do you believe God is doing it for you? Amen. So I say that on purpose because I want to ask because the Lord is, he wants you to be ready to receive. You guys don't limit, don't limit. There's so much more. Hallelujah. So much more. I'm telling you. I, I how are you doing? Michelle, Michelle, how are you doing? Yeah. Tell me. It seems like you're walking better to me. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Well, and, and the Lord that has done that is going to also finish that. Amen. Are you up here for prayer? Yeah, come on up. You just come on up over here. What do you need prayer for? Okay. All right. I want you to renounce this diagnosis. It's not yours. I don't want it. I reject it. I want what the Word of God promises me, which is fullness of health. I take authority over every generational curse. I come out of agreement with every generational curse. I come out of agreement with every generational curse. And I receive what the blood of Jesus purchased for me. I receive what the blood of Jesus purchased for me. Right now. Right now. Right now. In right Jesus' name, I want you to worship him. I just want you to worship him. Can you um, can you play something, uh, whether it's I exalt, I exalt thee, maybe let's play that. And I want you to worship him right now. 
Glory to God. Yes. There you go. Yes. I want you to close your eyes. Let the spirit of the living God come upon you. Let the spirit of the living God come upon you. It is he who is your healer. Let the spirit of the living God come upon you right now. Father, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we exalt you, God. Oh, thank you. Ulcers go right now. Lymphedema go right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah, there you go. Keep worshiping. Keep worshiping. Oh, we exalt the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm, keep going. Keep going. Yep. Bobby. Come on, Bobby. Come here, Bobby. Wants to remove that thing that is in your spirit that keeps you bound in pain. Uh, I remove that lie. It's a lie. I break the lie of instability, mental instability. Now, Father, I thank you for bringing healing right now, total and complete healing right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, you're a woman of faith. You're going to rise up, stand up in your rightful calling right now, in your rightful calling. Lying spirits go right now. Leave her. Leave her. Torment your go. Torment your go. Hallelujah. Yes, keep worshiping. You're worshiping for your children. You're worshiping for your children. You're worshiping for somebody else. Your faith is rising, but it's also going someplace. Touch your Lord. Touch your Lord. Nicole, just lift your hands. Touch her, Lord. Divine encounters increasing in her life. Exalt him. Exalt him. Oh, church, exalt him. Exalt him. We exalt you. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. I exalt the Lord. Come on up. <laughs> oh, don't you know he's doing it? Don't you know he's doing it? Yes. No fear. No. Perfect love casts out fear. Spirit. Oh, lift your voices before the king. He has you. He has you. Spirit is resting upon us right now. Drink it in, take it in. Yeah, take it in. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And see, the more that you allow the Spirit of the Living God to come upon you like this, the more and the faster your healing will fully come and manifest. You're welcome. Hallelujah. Oh my goodness. I just feel such an a, such a glorious presence of God in this room. It's what he wants. 
not what you want. It's what he wants. That's important. And that is what is happening. It's what he wants. What you want. What you want. And you want us fully. You want us completely abandoned to everything else, God. Radical love of God is being made right now possible for each one of you to walk in the radical love of God. The radical love, which means you've already tasted what this world has to offer and you know it doesn't offer anything. It doesn't offer anything. Who's been radically saved in this room? Raise your hand if you've been radically saved, like you just know. You got pulled out of the trenches. Yes, that man right next to you. And that's who I've been looking at. Mm -hmm. You've been radically saved, haven't you? Jesus. You know what? I'm going to have you come up. I'm going to have you come up. Yes, you. Stand right next to him, it's fine. There you go. Just lift your hands before the Lord. The Lord Jesus Christ is here. His power is made perfect in our weakness. So right now, Father, I thank you for touching him like never before. And let this be the first day of the rest of his life with a power encounter that changes everything forever. Radical. God wants the radical love of God to flow through you. You've already tasted and seen what the world has to offer. You know this thing called life, the abundant life. But God wants you to know it in your inner man more than you do today. So in the name of Jesus, let the power of God start to flow in and through him even right now. Touch him, Lord. Let everything that is not of God melt away right now. The kingdom of God is coming upon you more, 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 more. Mindset shift. There's a shift, yes. The mind, mindset shift right now. Mindset shift right now. Wow. Yeah. Yes. I'm listening to him praise him. And it's beautiful. I'm listening to you praise the Lord. It's beautiful. Thank you, Father. Wow. You don't know what people have gone through, people. You don't know their life story. But they're here because God has touched them, moved upon them. And he continues. What is it that you need from the Lord, man of God? What is it? What's your heart's desire? Yeah. Okay. Salvation to his whole family. They know the Lord, but he doesn't think they're saved. Not sure. Who else? What else is there? What else is there? Father, every one of them, let them come into the realization that Jesus is Lord. Let them make that personal decision to follow after Christ and to follow hard after you, God. Lord, let every prayer that has been prayed, Lord, for everyone in this room, Lord, let it be multiplied, Father God, and let it go forth, the highways and the byways. Let them touch them, Lord God, these children. Lord, we call them in right now, and we mark them out by the blood of the Lamb, and we decree no weapon formed against these families shall prosper. I thank you, Father God. Hope is arising. God is, he is saying that he has heard your prayer, and that's why I asked you, that's why I asked you about what is it that you need, what is your heart's cry? Because of that, what I heard from the Lord, what I, what I uh, felt from the Lord over you was that you're a gracious man and that you 
Don't always press in. You're thankful. You're thankful. But God is saying, I want you to ask for more. Yeah. Because that gratefulness and thankfulness is a good thing, people. Yeah. It's a good thing. But when it keeps us from really pressing in and asking for more, sometimes the enemy can use that. And so right now, God is saying, I want you're grateful and you're a thankful man. And God is ple pleased about that. But right now, press in. Realize the enemy is blocking those children from receiving. So we're going to bind that spirit of the enemy. And we're taking authority over that. So pressing in for the more of God. For your family's sake. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want you to pray. I want you to pray. I want you to pray in the spirit. I want you to pray. Go ahead. Pray. Pray. Yeah. Everybody else too. Pray. Death will not have them. Uh, the assignments of the enemy's death will not have them. The strongholds will not have them. We break the strongholds. Uh, we break the power of the enemy uh, right now in the lives of our children and grandchildren. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, I thank you for a strong, strong, valiant walk with Christ. Uh, we decree and prophesy that they have a strong, strong walk walk with Christ, uh, that Christ is made known and real to them, uh, that they serve the Lord all the days of their lives, uh, that they will not change, they will not turn back, uh, that when they say yes to Jesus, it's a yes forever, it's a yes forever, and we stand right now firm uh, as we are in agreement in this room, uh, that yes is a yes forever, yes forever, glory Glory, glory. How can two walk together unless they be agreed? Um, but we are in agreement right now that that yes is a yes forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. We decree it's sealed. Um, we decree the blood of Jesus right now over their lives, over their mind, over their heart, over their soul, over their will, their will, over their will. Thank you, Father God. Yes, God. God be the glory. To God be the glory. How are you doing? Good. You're doing good? What's God doing right now? Well, I believe he's, he's healing me. And uh, my mother told me about, my mother's 90, I'll quote almost 90, but she um, told me she had a dream a few days ago, and mm. she was looking at my ankles, and they were healed. Amen. Yeah, so I believe that came from God. Yes. And look at you standing up here right now. And the very first thing you said is, I believe that he's healing me. Yes. And he's healing you right now. He's touching you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. And I bind that assignment of the enemy. That diseased assignment that was meant to paralyze, to cripple you, and to rob you. In the name of Jesus, we decree that's null and void. Gone. Hallelujah. I feel like you need to stay and let God finish right here in this spot. Just stay for a few more minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You're welcome. Precious, precious heart, that man. Hallelujah. It's amazing what God does. Oh, my goodness, Lord. We're so grateful. We're so grateful. How many of you feel that presence of God in such a sweet, sweet way this morning? Wow. I want you to just press in a little longer. Because this whole, we're always led by the Spirit. But today, he's, he's really changing it. So, so we just need to make sure what he is doing is, is what we're doing. We want to do what he's doing. We want to walk where he's walking. We want to talk when he talks. And we want to be silent when he's silent. Church needs to learn. We need to learn. Teach us, Lord. Yes. So I want you to renounce mm -hmm. just wild, crazy, out of control emotions. I repent. For walking in the flesh, getting angry. Mm -hmm. Father, I surrender to you. I surrender to you. I surrender my emotions to you. Right here. And I give them to you. Yep, here they are. Take them. Take them. Heal me.
Heal me. Heal me. Emotions. Heal me. Heal my emotions. Heal me. Every place where there was a lack of love, lack of a father's love, go right now. Let assignment, fatherlessness go right now. In the name of Jesus, trying to strive, strive for, for affection, strive for just having that validation. I command it to go right now in the name of Jesus. Healing his emotions, Father. Healing his emotions. Glory to God. Wow. Hallelujah. God is good all the time, people of God. All the time, God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you. You can stay if you want. If you're done, you feel like you can go sit, please. That's fine. Thank you. God bless you. Anybody else before we move? Before we move on, is there anyone else that needs, that would like to come up to receive prayer for anything? Yes or no? You guys good? Hallelujah. Is your body healing for your body? Body? Okay. Yep. Yeah. As a matter of fact, oh, so Camille too. Come on over here, Camille. Um, Jose, can you come on up and help? Please just stand behind Camille. Nina, are you up here for prayer too? Praise the Lord. Absolutely. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, total and complete healing of this body. In every place, Lord God, that the enemy tries to bring in demonic assignments, I curse it and I cast it out right now. I decree right now the body is going to flow and be healed. 100% from top of his head to the soles of his feet. You've done it before, and I thank you for doing it again. I thank you, Lord God, not just his body, but his family. I thank you, Lord God, that every arrow that was sent against him, I pull it out right now. I pull out those arrows. I pull out those arrows. Pull out the arrows. I pull out the arrows right now. I pull out right now every place of pride and arrogance, retaliation. I take authority over retaliation. I take authority right now over stubborn spirits, of religious spirits. I command right now religious spirits to be removed right now in every place that the enemy tried to grip you and your family and tried to bring that harassing spirit. I take authority and say it goes right now. You're getting free, Raul. Even as I'm speaking this other other people are receiving this. Do you understand? It is not just for him that's up here. It is for all of you that are willing and ready. Receive it right now. Every arrow that has been placed within you, that the enemy tried to jab you in the back when you weren't looking. I take authority and I command it to come out right now in the name of Jesus. Sickness and disease goes right now. Every place where the assignment of the enemy tried to rob, kill, steal you of your innocence. I command that thing to go right now. In the name of Jesus. You will not be stolen from. Your innocence will not be robbed from. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for making a way where there seemed to be no way. I thank you, Lord God, that you are the way maker. You are the way maker. You are providing, Lord God. You are the provider, Lord God. Way maker. Way maker. Way maker. He's the way maker. Way maker. He's providing. He is the provider. He is the provider. He is the way maker. Can you stand over here, please? How can I pray for you? Okay. I want you to renounce, come out of agreement, have that. I command that to go. Hallelujah. Fire of God right now, destroying this fibromyalgia right now. Stress and trauma in the body go right now. I'm going to have you look at me. Stress, trauma, go now all of it right now from the top of his head to the soles of his feet I take authority right now over every generational curse every generational sickness every generational disease I command it to go right now every stubborn spirit I pull that out word curses breaking off word curses word curses be broken off of you right now in Jesus' name all of them right now all of them pain go 
shift. Let the body shift. Bones right now, bone structure come into alignment to be healed. Bones and bone structure right now be healed. The nervous system. Father, I decree that nervous system is being healed right now. Touched by the finger of God. You're being healed right now. Fire of God. Destroy every agent of Satan. Right now. Right now. Right now. More, Lord. More, Lord. Fire of God. Wow. Just receive. Just receive. Just receive. Yeah, all of it. All of it goes. Raul, all of it goes. Come out of agreement. Anything else you need to come out of agreement with? I want you to do it right now. Anything else? All of it goes. Out. 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 Anything else that you need to renounce? That's a big one. Go ahead. In other words, yeah, we definitely need to do that. Go ahead. Do it right now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We command that thing to go right now in Jesus' name. We will not tolerate it. Now, now that he has renounced it, I command that to leave him right now. Out of him right now. Self-hatred go right now in Jesus' name. Self-hatred go right now. I separate that from you right now. And I command it to be removed. All of it uproot and go right now. Self-hatred go. In the name of Jesus, every place where there was a harshness and a critical spirit towards yourself, I command that spirit to be removed right now. Critical spirit, self-hatred go. All take your friends with you. Take your demon friends with you. Whoa. What else? What else? Tell it to go. I uh -huh. renounce doubt. I command doubt to go now. Unbelief, go right now. Feeling of not being accepted, not being wanted, not being enough. I command it to go right now. That's a lie. It's rejection. It's a lie. It's a lie. It goes right now. Every lying spirit goes right now. In the name of Jesus. All of it deep-seated from, from your family, Raul. From your family line, it goes in Jesus' name. Wow. And I want you to, I want you to start blessing yourself. I bless myself. I bless myself. I love myself. I thank you, Lord God. I am more than enough. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God. The greater one lives on the inside of me. I give you the praise and the glory. Start blessing yourself. Out loud. Come on. You're a blessing. People love you. You're a blessing. People love you. Yes. Pain go in Jesus' name. Stress go in Jesus' name. I want you to test your, your back. I want you to test what you said, fibromyalgia. I want you to test all of joints and bones and tell me how you're doing. All of it goes. We separate every curse that it was done unto you, Raul. Every word curse, every satanic curse, I break the power of the satanic curses that were done over your life, even when you were a child, even when you didn't even know what was happening. I break them off of you right now. I command them to go. How's your pain? Muscles locked. So all the muscle right now be released. No more locking of the, of the muscles. The nervous system right now be healed. I take authority right now over all that pain. I command it to go. In the name of Jesus, let the spirit of the living God flow through this man. I thank you, Lord God, for restoring the years that the locust has stolen. Hallelujah. Peace over this area. Peace. Hallelujah. Over this area. I want you to test it again. Tell me what's, what's different Freedom, yes. A little looser. Glory to God. He's getting there. A little looser. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Yes. Amen. God bless you. A amen. We're grateful for every little thing God does. Every little thing is not a little thing. It's a big thing. Every little thing, you may think it's little. God says, no, it's big. It's big. It's big. How are you doing, Raul? 
all of it goes right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. He's saying he's so good. Glory unto God. He's saying glory unto God. Glory to God. Glory to God. When someone gets delivered of massive demons like that, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We just see, oh Lord, everything that you did here today. We thank you. We thank you for the power, the presence, the anointing of the Holy Spirit in this place. We thank you, Lord God, that what you have done is done. We say it's sealed. How's your foot, Michelle? Getting better. Praise the Lord. Continuingly to get better. And we're believing the same for yours. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, eyes. How's your eyes? You had the eyes. Blurred vision. I want you to test your vision. Test it. Yes. It seems like it's better. You've been testing your vision. Okay. What couldn't you do before? Come on up. because I, 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 Just come on up and we're going to finish with this. Assuming that's what God is doing, right? Okay, so you were before you things were blurry. Everything in the room here. Yeah, I've had my vision tested. I, I've diagnosed it. I've, I've been in agreement with and been praying for this. Okay. Thing. Yes. Right. For her eyes. Balance. You need to be balanced. Yeah. Yeah. You okay? And so, and right now, when you look out, is it better? Is your sight better now than when I first prayed? When you first walked in? Well, can you see better? Look over there. Those are really bright. Just look where you're in normal light. Mm -hmm. Well, it's still, it's still blurry, but it's not as bad as it was. Okay. So there is some improvement. Okay. So it's it's blurry, but it's not as blurry as before. Right. So, Father, I'm, we're going to pray for her again. I want everybody to stretch their hands out. Father, it's nothing for you to heal these eyes right now in the name of Jesus and the cataract and every, every diagnosed assignment from the pit. I break the power of it right now. I decree the eyes will come into divine balance, be healed, clarity, 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 clarity. Eyes you see and you see clearly. You see and you see clearly. Both, both the right, both the left, each one. In the name of Jesus, Father, whatever is causing her to be off balance, I command that right now, broken off of her, that spirit of being off balance, break now break off now in the name of Jesus and I decree the balance over her body the balance over her mind that her mind will tell her body and it'll give that right instruction and the body will do the, the will of God and not fall you will not fall you will not fall I thank you Lord God for balancing her equilibrium Father God I thank you Lord God thank you Lord praise you Lord God we break every generational curse of sickness off of you now in Jesus' name. Every generational curse and every assignment of the enemy that brings sickness and disease, we do agree it goes now. Your healing is now in Jesus' name. Amen. Our healing is now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Wow. 
Amen and amen. We're going to go ahead and move into uh, the word right now. We're going to move into the word. And you know, <laughs> I just love what Jesus does. I love the move of the spirit of the living God. And in this church, we do, we let him do however he wants, whatever he wants, how, when, where, it doesn't matter. But we are going to hear his voice and we are going to follow after him. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. You're so good, Lord. Your presence is life. Your presence is life. Nowhere else we'd rather be. Nowhere else we'd rather go. Your presence is a life to each one of us. Your presence is life. Oh, Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you, there was a shift today that happened in your lives. There is a shift of God's healing, of not just healing. God said, I took them from one place and I brought them to a place of holiness, a walk of holiness that you may have not encountered before. You may have not, but today is a new day. You know, as you get your balance, I want you to test your eyes. Go look over at the same place you looked before. And I want you to test it again. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. And I could see the other side doing the same thing, but the pattern was like moving away. Yeah, moving away because it's going. It's going. It's going. In Jesus' name. Oh, my goodness. I have to do this, Pastor Jeff. You got to get ready. It's going. It's going. It's going. And it's gone in the name of Jesus. It's gone in the name of Jesus. God showed her that. It was moving away. Cataract in both eyes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You can stay there. You are not in the way. Until the Lord tells you to get up, please stay there. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> wow. I say wow because the very first yeah. thing that I wrote down um, is exactly what we just did here today. See, so this morning when I woke up, the Lord told me, this is going to be all different today. Yeah. He says, it's going to be completely different today. Because yeah. he says, I want people to get used to my spirit and how to really truly press in and not what they're used to. Every church kind of gets into a, a routine, you know. And he said, I want to change it up today. Yeah. And he said, I want you to teach them to really press into my heart. When I change it up, will you still be pressing in? When I change it up, when you don't have the norms, when you don't have those comforts yeah. that we do grow accustomed to, That's right. will you still press in? Will you be so desperate yeah. that you say, oh, God, I don't care because I'm here for you and you only. So however you want to do it is have your way. Amen. And so here I wrote, when I wrote this word out, it totally, because we know God is the same, and he is one. God is one, right? And so when I wrote this word out, right, um, was not today, right? So when I wrote this, and then this morning, I see God meshing. He's doing the same thing. And this is what he said when I wrote this days ago. He says, Church of God, walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, not programs meant to entertain you but leave you powerless. Not programs. Or not even a routine that is meant, uh, right, to leave you powerless. You're not supposed to walk powerless. You're to walk on fire and with the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to pursue the precious Holy Spirit and let our sensitivity to him be increasing. Always, always. Our sensitivity to the spirit of the living God increasing always. Instead of listening to messages that entertain you, 
instead of listening uh, to messages that entertain you, but leave you spiritually, mentally, and emotionally anemic. Listen to the spirit of the living God. Get used to being uncomfortable if you have to, because pretty soon what was uncomfortable becomes comfortable. It becomes comfortable. True change happens when you meet the king face to face and you know you are ruined forever and you will not go back to the same old. And you're not here to please man, you're here to please God. And we are here not to please man, but to please God. And do you know that God talks to you? Do you know that he's always speaking to you? God is speaking to you at all times. And it's about us being fine-tuned to how he is speaking and walking in agreement with that. Because he wants to give you everything that he's already promised us to have in his word. The promises of God. Because they're all yes and amen. Amen? Yes and amen. The promises of God. Hallelujah. So... God is after your dependence, not on your independence from him. Yeah, he's after our dependence upon him, not our independence from him. And so, you know, there, there are quite a few Christians that are still walking in a independence from God because they know how to quote scripture, because they know how to make it look holy, because they know how to, how to walk the walk and how to talk the talk. But the heart is far from them. The heart of God. Let that not be you. We're going to learn how to continually, continually press into our, the, the, the dependence upon the spirit of the living God. Day by day. No matter what. What if it costs everything, church? What if the, in your mind, what you would say the worst thing that would, could happen, what if that happened? Would you still say yes? Yeah. Yeah. Has to be a yes in your spirit, man. Yeah. There has to be a yes. Yeah. So let God's victorious warriors arise and the enemy be scattered. I decree that the enemy be scattered in your life and that you are God's victorious warriors and you're rising up in strength. And the Lord said in Exodus 15, he said in Exodus 15 that he would be an enemy to your enemies and he said he would be an adversary to your adversaries. He says, I'll be an enemy to your enemies and an adversary to your adversaries. In other words, God is promising to have your back. He says, I promise to have you and I promise to cover you. I promise to have your back. And in, and in Deuteronomy 33, 27, he has promised to deliver you and to deliver your enemies back into your hands. Back into your hands. In other words, you are not going to be left without. Amen. Five anointings that require diligent warfare. It's what I titled today's message. Five anointings that require diligent warfare. Not warfare when you want to, not warfare when it's convenient or when you happen to remember, but diligent warfare. The Lord has promised to deliver you from the strong, hateful spirits that are too strong for you. That's in, that's in 2 Samuel twenty two eighteen. He has promised to deliver you from some strong, hateful, hateful spirits that are too strong for you, but he's already promised to deliver you from them. Amen. Right? Yeah. And so he says... Yet to walk in that anointing will take cooperation with the Holy Spirit. To walk in that higher level of anointing, knowing that whatever things that, that all the things that God has spoken to you and His Word, that you have this type of authority, it's going to require total and complete dependency on the Spirit of the living God, which is one of the reasons why I believe that God did it the way he did it today and changed everything up to show you, listen, anybody can get into a routine. I want you to learn to trust me. What happens when I change it up? I want you to walk listening to me because when I say, go that way, do this, you'll hear me. And if you hear me, you'll do it. Amen. If we don't hear, how can we do? But if you hear, you'll do. How important is hearing? Right? It's very, very important. So I want to give you, before I give you the five, five anointings that require diligent warfare, I want to give you three ways or three keys to mentally position yourself. Key 
It is your job to mentally position yourself because position comes before power. People want the power, but they don't want to position themselves. But position comes before power. And it is up to you to mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and in every way, position yourself for the greater is coming. Amen? Amen. And then after I give you these three keys, I'll give you the five anointings that are promised for you today. Are we all ready? So three keys to mentally position yourself uh, for, to receive this fullness of God. Number one, the disciples were told to heal the sick. They were told to heal the sick. They were told to cleanse the lepers. They were told to cast out demons. They were told to raise the dead, right? We know this. Yeah. He who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. 1 John 4, 4. 1 John 4, 4. He who is in you is greater. We're going to go to Matthew 10 in a minute. Please don't put it up yet because then everybody goes there. Thank you. So he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. That's 1 John 4.4. 4. When Jesus sent his apostles, when he sent his apostles right out on their mission, he said he was giving them their authority and he was giving them power. And the word authority in Greek is that exousia. And we've taught on this before. But God's exousia and, and power, which means dunamis. The authority and the power. The authority and the power. Mentally position yourself right now. You, and that's your job. Mentally position yourself. I mentally position myself to walk in the authority, to walk in the power. To walk in the authority, to walk in the power. The creative power. The authority of knowing that God has called me to do a job and I will do that job. You will do that job. He says, you, I want you to stand on your assignment and I want you to fulfill your assignment. You will fulfill that assignment. Woman of God, you're fulfilling that assignment. You've already fulfilled the assignments from yesterday's of your life. But God has more assignments for you and you will fulfill those assignments as you mentally keep yourself set on the power and the authority that God has given you. He's given it to us. All of us. Amen. Now let's go to Matthew 10. Hallelujah. We go to Matthew 10 and in verse 1, and it says, And when he, Jesus, had called the 12 disciples to him, he gave them power. He gave the 12 power over unclean spirits. That means he gave you power over unclean spirits to cast them out. Cast them out everywhere you go. Make sure you cast them out of your home. Make sure you cast them out everywhere you go. And he says, and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases. This is your job. This is for you to walk in, a, in the anointings that God has given you. You have to position your mindset that this is yours. This belongs to you. It belongs to every single one of you. Let's go to verse 5. And in verse 5. These 12 Jesus sent out, but when he sent them out, he commanded them saying something. And he said, do not go into the way of the Gentiles. And he said, do not enter a city of the Samaritans, but rather go. He commissioned them to go and he's commissioned you to go. And he says, go, I want you to go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He's saying, I want you to go where people are hungry. I want you to go where it looks, you know, they need my help. They may not know, but you know, they need my help. You know, they're not saved. You know, they're sick. You know that they're diseased. Amen. I want you to go to the lost sheep. And he says, as you go, preach. He said, as you go, preach. When you preach the word, just preach Christ. Just preach Christ. When you preach Christ, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Oh, when you say the kingdom of heaven is at hand, the spirit of the living God and the power thereof comes to rush upon you and all of hell is shaking because they know you just called on a kingdom that is far beyond and above its kingdom. Amen. There's two kingdoms, Hallelujah. kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of hell. And we serve the king of kings. And the kingdom of heaven is the kingdom that we belong to. And that kingdom comes with rule and reign and power. But that kingdom in reality is already within us. And that kingdom in reality is already operating. But you got to keep your mindset. Mentally 
have your mind set on what's rightfully yours. Because anytime the enemy wants to rob you from something, he wants to first of all mess with your mind. He'll try to get you to disqualify yourself by, by causing you, you to have doubt. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's for them. They're strong. Their faith is there. I'm not quite there yet. Lie. That is a lie from the pit. That is a lie. Don't give them that access. He says, as you go preach. He says, preach. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick. Cleanse the lepers. Raise the dead. Cast out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. Amen. So number one, in order for us to walk, we have to have the disciples were told to go and do the works of the kingdom, right? So you too are told to do the works of the kingdom. Number two, remember that Jesus' authority is greater than all of satanic power. Jesus' authority is greater than all satanic power. And if you really believe that, if you really believed that, it's one thing to say it, if you really believed that, then you would have these face-to-face um, be like a combative assignments that you are in the face of the devil and you know it and you don't back down. Amen. You don't back down because you know not just understanding but you know in your spirit man that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The enemy doesn't want you to believe that. But in Luke 10, 19, he says, Behold, I give you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions, he said, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Right? Do we know this? But then the word goes on to say, I'm going to turn to Luke, Luke 10, because he also says, don't rejoice. Don't rejoice that ge- demons are subject to you. He says, but that your name is written in heaven. Amen. Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. Amen. Your name is written in heaven. Rejoice that your name is written in heaven. We get to rejoice. Yes. Glory to God. So Luke 10 and in verse 20. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you. Because let me tell you something. They are. You need to know that. A police officer isn't so grateful that the person they pulled over was willing to be handcuffed. I mean, how ridiculous is that? Even when I say it, right? They already know, oh, you're going down. Why would you be, oh, wow, the demons, they, you know, they have to submit to me. Stop rejoicing and walk in your authority. Realize who you are and walk in the level and in the power of what God has given to you. Maybe somebody, maybe you just need to be told like that. So he says, nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In other words, I don't care what he may think he gets away with here on earth, you win. I don't care what loss you may experience on earth, you win. I don't care what he may come against you with and and what losses you may experience, you win. And that's what he's saying. Bottom line is uh, because of Christ in you, you win. So don't even fret. Don't even worry. Give it to me because you win because of Christ in you. Amen. Amen. So don't be rejoicing. Oh, wow. They're, you know, they have to obey me. Of course they do. You've been given authority in the name of Jesus. But you have unlimited authority over demons in the name of Jesus. You have unlimited authority. And that great, as great as that authority is, you have unlimited authority. But as great as that is. It doesn't even compare with the intimacy and the knowledge of the power of God's love in you. It doesn't even compare. In other words, don't miss the, don't miss the power and the, pres- and the presence of our precious Holy Spirit while standing in your authority. Amen. See, you could stand in the authority of God and forget that you're also a precious son or daughter of the Most High God. Yeah. Don't forget. Don't forget. Stand fully stand awake stand strong Mm -hmm. hallelujah hallelujah number three perfect love casts out fear before i come back to this i want to first um i want to first what is the lord 
Are you getting what's the, are you getting what I'm saying here today? I really feel, yeah, yeah, taking your authority, but also standing as a son or a daughter of the most high God. Because I do see that there's like almost like one or the other sometimes. And I feel like God is saying, I want you guys to understand you're both. You're both. You have the authority and you walk in power, but you also walk in my presence. You can't do authority and power without walking in the presence. You know? People think they try to do one. Oh, I see people doing like just the presence or just the power and the authority. Guys, it doesn't work like that. You have to understand that your authority and your power is should be mixed with the presence of God. But when you walk in the presence of God, remembering the authority and the power that you carry, that's where everything happens. That's where the sick are healed. That's where the dead are raised. That's where demons are cast out. Because there's never one thing within you that thinks it's you. Right? So it's important that we get this understanding because every one of us should be walking in a greater measure of this. And we certainly can be. It's all, it's available. It's available to us right now. Right now. So... So I was saying number three is perfect love casts out fear, uh, of fear. Your heavenly position will require your earthly consent. So your heavenly position, which we are all called to walk in, in our position is in heaven, right? But your heavenly position is going to require your earthly consent. So here on earth, you've got to consent. You've got to be willing. You've got to say yes. You, and that yes is not lip service, but it's a literal true heart, heart to heart, right? Yes. You can't win a spiritual battle with an earthly mindset, church of God. Can't do it. The 10 spies lost the battle. But they lost the battle even before approaching it. Yeah. Right? They lost the battle even before approaching it because their no was bigger than their yes. Yeah. Their no was on the inside. Their no was bigger than their yes. So they lost the battle even before approaching it. Even before even getting in. They lost the battle. Their I can't was stronger than their I can. Don't think that you are above it. Don't think, oh, that would never happen to me. Make a decision today. The Lord needs your, your willingness, your consent, right? Amen. So don't let your no be bigger than your yes. For the word says you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He strengthens me. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If he's called you, if he's called me, he's equipped you. He's equipped you, right? Amen. Say he's equipped me. So let me get to the five anointings that are promised to you now. They're promised to you now. Okay, in, in, 1, John, in 1 John 2, you can turn to 1 John 2, and it says here, the, the number one is you've been given an anointing to discern spirits. So you've been given an anointing yeah. to discern, discern spirits. To discern is to perceive or to distinguish Okay, so, so I've been given an anointing to discern spirits. I can discern spirits. Say it again. I can discern spirits. I've been anointed to discern spirits. And discerning is to perceive or to distinguish. I can perceive. I can distinguish. 1 John 2.20. 1 John 2.20. Okay, it says, but you have an anointing from the Holy One. This is for all of you. You have an anointing from the Holy One. And you know all things. But the anointing, and then, then when you go on to verse 27, but the anointing which you have received from him abides in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you, but the same anointing teaches you concerning all things. And it is true, not a lie. Just as it has taught you, you will abide in him. Then anoint, this anointing cause is the anointing requires your abiding in him. You've already been anointed, but it requires your abiding in him. Okay, so if you're going to discern spirits, you have to what? Abide in the spirit of the living God. Number two, you've been anointed to identify. And there's a difference between discerning and identifying. So you've been anointed to identify the spirits that are not of God. First 
John 4, 1 through 3. Okay? First of all, to identify is to establish or to associate closely. So it's much more in depth. When, when you say, oh, you know, I, I identify this, it's much more than I perceive this. I identify. I know everything I can under, I can give you a blueprint. I know what happens when this scenario is set up. When I, I know because the spirit of the living God has given me the ability to identify spirits. Are we following? Yes. It's important. So 1 John 4, 1 through 3. It says, Beloved, don't believe every spirit, but test the spirits whether they are, they are of God or not. Because many false prophets have gone out into the world. So we need to identify. We need to discern, but we need to identify. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God. We have to test the spirits to know if they be true. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. The spirit of the Antichrist. Let me tell you, you cannot just assume that what you had, what you understood in the yesterdays of your life is going to be enough for you today. You have to continue in your learning. You must continue in your growing. You have to continue in your Bible knowledge. You have to continue in, in letting the spirit of God anoint you with a discernment because that must increase. Right? Yes. The increase in your life. Glory to God. So, and so then, number three is you have been anointed to tear down demonic strongholds. Amen. You've been anointed to tear down demonic strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. Say, I'm going to tear down strongholds. And strongholds in the mind must be torn down first before you can tear down something else for somebody else. Say, so I'm going to take care of me first. You can't take care of somebody else when you've got that same spirit. You can't take care of somebody else's unbelief if you have that same unbelief. You got to tear down your own unbelief. You got to command that thing to leave out of you first. You got to get your life right before you can help somebody else. You struggling with a spirit of unforgiveness and, and anger? You think the spirit of anger is going to bow down to you when you have it? Yeah. Right? So let's, let's read this 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war according to the flesh. We don't war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Say, they're not carnal. They're not worldly, but they're mighty in God for the pulling down of strongholds. Say, I'm pulling down every stronghold that tried to put me in a place of bondage. I'm pulling it down. I'm pulling it down. I'm casting down every argument and every high thing that exalts itself. It exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We live in a world where everything, you know, trying to exalt itself above the knowledge of God. And trying to twist and turn what is right to say it's wrong and what is wrong to say it is right. But I'm telling you right now, you got to demolish the thought if it's within you. And then you got to go and be proactive and demolish that assignment that's trying to come against those that you love and in the culture that you live in. Amen. Amen. Exalting God alone is our job. Amen. Cast down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Did you really think it was about you? Because it wasn't. It was about God in you. So here's what the enemy does. He tries to put up something, an assignment. He puts up something, you know, to work against your emotions. But in reality, is he's just trying to, he's just really trying to come against your faith in God. He's trying to get you to, to lessen your walk, to, to not be as bold and not to be as fiery, to compromise your walk. Oh, it's okay. You know, nobody's going to see, nobody's going to hear. You know, he's trying to get you to lessen your yes to Christ because Satan hates God, always has. So therefore he hates you, right? But I believe that you guys are on fire and that you really want more of God's power in your life. And you're not, you're not going to fall 
for assignments that are coming against you. You won't fall. And I believe that as we pray for the church, as we pray for one another, as we lift up one another, no matter what, you're getting stronger. You're being stronger, not just emotionally, but spiritually every way, every way. God is raising you up because he sees someone that he can trust, Amen. someone that he can empower with more. That's what's happening. That is what I, I sense that strongly. How about you? Do you sense that in your life? Yes. Yeah, the increase of God. So he says, bring every thought into, into captivity. We have to take, it's our job to take those thoughts into captivity and into obedience to Christ. When you take that thought, you take it captive. When you take that sorrow, you take it captive. When you take that frustration, you take it captive. And you take it captive to make it obedient to Christ. Amen? See, there's so much more I believe God wants to get to you. He wants to get so much more of, this, of his power and of his increase. But we've got to make sure our thought, our thoughts, our mindset, that he can trust us with that, right? And then number four, you've been anointed to walk by faith, which resists the fiery darts of the enemy. See, you already have been anointed to walk by faith. Say, I already have been anointed to walk by faith. My faith casts out fiery darts. Amen. Your faith, say my faith, my faith, casts out fiery darts of the enemy. My faith, say my faith. I walk by faith. I'm filled with faith. Do you believe yourself? Yeah, it's important. When we do this, and the reason I ask you this is because I know that there's, there are levels of belief. Levels of belief. And I believe that God is saying, help them where they're at. And when we speak things, we are hearing ourselves. And when we hear ourselves... We start to believe what we hear. The best way for you to even memorize scripture is for you to speak it out of your own mouth. Because when you hear yourself, your hearing and your belief is increasing when you hear you. See, because in reality, you're already hearing you in your head. But when you hear yourself outside of your head, it's like faith comes by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. God. So if faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, when you start to speak forth the word of God, you speak, speak it out. You hear it. Your faith increases. When your faith increases, you realize I walk by faith and every fiery dart that the enemy brings my way, I have the authority, the anointing, the power, the faith to pull that thing out. So number four is you've been anointed to walk by faith that resists the fiery darts of the enemy. And number five, you have been anointed to follow closely. Do you know you need an anointing of the Lord to follow closely? You need an anointing of the Lord to follow closely to the Holy Spirit. He says, the, the, number five is you've been anointed to follow closely to the Holy Spirit who promises to lead you and, to prom and promises to guide you in all truth. You are never alone. That's John 16, 13. You are never alone. However, when the Spirit, when he, the Spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. John 16, 13. We put up John 16, 13. So five anointings that are promised to you, they're promised to each one of us. Uh, number one, you've been given anointing to discern. Say, I discern, which means to perceive. It means to distinguish. You've been given an anointing to identify spirits that are not of God, which means to, you, are, you can establish them. You can associate closely. You, you know the blueprints. Amen. Uh, number three, you've been anointed to tear down demonic mental strongholds. Yeah. You've been anointed to tear those down. No one else is going to be able to do it but you. Mental strongholds, those are thoughts in your head. Number four, you've been anointed to walk by faith, which and that means you resist the fiery darts of the enemy. You walk by faith, anointed to walk by faith. And number five, you've been anointed to walk closely Follow closely after the Holy Spirit who has promised to lead and guide you and protect you, to lead you into all truth, and to show you that he will never leave you. And he's 
He's bringing you into God's fullness. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. So pursue the Holy Spirit. And I'm going I'm to end with this, but pursue the Holy Spirit in everything that you do. Don't walk in a mental state of, you know, independence, but a dependence upon the spirit of the living God. For your positioning in Christ comes before the power that you so want to see. Your positioning comes before power. And not just for one moment, but a consistent walk, a consistent lifestyle. Because the enemy should be deathly afraid of you, of your prayer life. He should be deathly afraid Amen. of your the words that come out of your mouth. Because the words that come out of your mouth must be words of life. I'm anointed to produce life. I'm anointed to walk and to gain the victory, all of it, that Jesus died, rose again to give me. I am anointed. You are anointed of God to walk in a fuller state than you did before you even walked in today. In other words, there's an awareness. There's an awareness. I'm going to have you stand up right now. Uh, if you would all stand up, please. Father, right now, the word that went forth, I thank you, Lord God, is not just a word that, that they just, oh, that's a nice word. Father, it's a word that they're going to grab a hold yeah. of and they're going to be changed. I thank you, Lord God, that the word has power, carries power. It is on fire. It is alive. And so that word that was just sp spoken, the word that was just preached, has the dunamis power to change lives all around completely. For them to walk in a greater level of faith, anointing, and power. I thank you, Lord God. I bind every spirit that would rob, kill, steal, destroy from their lives and from their families' lives. Father God, in every place where the enemy tries to torment them, I command it to go right now in Jesus' name. I thank you for greater measures of your glory, a greater expectation of what God is doing. And all of God's children said amen and amen. Hallelujah. We give you the glory. We give you the praise.